Welcome to Kulalum, city in Washington state. Home of the Warriors. Approximately one are driving from Leavenworth. One hour and 20 minutes driving from Seattle and four hours driving from Vancouver, Canada. We stayed one night at Best Western Snowcap Lodge in Kulalum. Due to heavy snowfall, our travel time was increased. The hotel and rooms were clean. We had good sleep, good drinks and snacks. The breakfast was delicious. We drove around the area to see what's in there. After roaming around the area, our next destination is the Snoqualmie Falls, but before that we stopped at Snoqualmie Ski Area. Our route is via I-90 over Snoqualmie Pass. Snoqualmie Pass can be a dreadful drive in the winter. The pass experiences more closures and delays this time of year due to inclement weather, avalanches, avalanche control, and prevention work as well as the clearing of accidents, snow, and ice. Chains required on all vehicles, except all will drive. Oversized vehicles prohibited. Welcome to the summit of Snoqualmie. Ski area in the Washington state. Another 30 to 35 minutes driving from the ski area to the Snoqualmie Falls.
Welcome to Snoqualmie Falls Park. The main parking area at Snoqualmie Falls is a paid lot. There are free parking areas available in the upper and lower lot. We parked in the paid lot, but we later found out free parking was available across the street. The upper viewpoint is right next to the parking area. Snoqualmie Falls is a 268-foot waterfall in the northwest United States. Located east of Seattle on the Snoqualmie River between Snoqualmie and Fall City, Washington. It is one of Washington's most popular scenic attractions and is known internationally for its appearance in the television series Twin Peaks. The upper park has multiple viewpoints and observation areas, so you will certainly be able to get a great view of the falls after viewing it from up above. We walked over to the start of the trail and headed down to the lower park area of the falls. To the left of the falls is the Selish Lodge and Spa, an 86-room boutique hotel built in 1916 and purchased by the Snoqualmie tribe in 2019. Retrace your steps 150 feet and find the brown and yellow trail sign after a short stint on a paved path. Arrive at a trailhead kiosk where the pavement transitions to a dirt and gravel trail. Descending to 150 feet over the next 0.5 mile. The Snoqualmie Falls hike is a short out and back route that connects the viewpoint at the top of the falls with the viewpoint at the base of the falls. It's 0.7 miles each way. For a round trip of just under one and a half miles, I'd highly recommend walking the trail when you visit. For us, the short hike from upper observation deck to the lower falls viewpoint is well worth it. But if you don't want to hike or you are short on time, you can instead drive down to the parking lot near lower observation deck. This is a huge water pipes leading uphill to power station. After your hike, visit the historic Snoqualmie with its boutique shops, small restaurants, and train museum. Historic downtown Snoqualmie is located just 30 minutes from Seattle and steps from the iconic Snoqualmie Falls. Snoqualmie is home to the Northwest Railway. The downtown area is built around Railroad Avenue, 
which is considered the main street for the area, right on the corner, the Northwest Railway. Welcome to Northwest Railway Museum, all aboard! Railroad Enthusiasts The town of Snoqualmie celebrates its origins as a railroad and logging town with the Snoqualmie. Depot Museum that has been resto. Read to its turn-of-the-century grandeur and is presented as an operating train station. Ching.